Hi, this is John Payton. Thanks for calling my office. I appreciate hearing your thoughts. And I hope you'll leave a message so I can listen to your ideas and concerns. Hi, Speaker Boehner. I would just like to know how it is you can possibly justify going into a sovereign nation and bombing them. I would really like to know where the logic is on Syrians bombed Syrians, so now the U.S. has to bomb Syrians, too. And by the way, on a side note, Mr. Boehner, I think it's pretty ridiculous that you turned down a meeting with Russian delegations to even hear what they had to say, since all of the logic, common sense, is all riding on other countries, because we look ridiculous in the face of the entire world world right now. So, I hope you're sleeping well at night, sir. Or is that not the message we wanted to say? Hi, I'm going to make comments about the Syrian intervention for Pelosi's office, please. Hey, hold on, Office of the Democratic Leader, the Honorable Nancy Pelosi. He's not available. So leave a message. Wait for the tone. Hi, I would just like to urge... Congressman Nancy Pelosi not to support any strike on Syria rather than trying to tailor a resolution that will pass the House and be accepted. Supporting Al-Qaeda as a form of regime change is definitely going to cause blowback and bad karma. Find something inside of herself that would allow her to do the right thing instead of always going along with the worst possible plan in Congress. The people do not support you or anyone who's involved in this stuff. And even those who support it are waking up to the fact that our foreign policy is completely disastrous. Thank you. Um, yes. Who would I talk to about leaving comments on his pro-Syria bombing stance? Yeah, I can take your comments on that. I just think he should consider the fact that if it causes World War III, it's going to be awfully hard for him to sleep at night. Hi, I'm calling to leave comments about the Syrian action. Uh, well, I would like to persuade Harry Reid simply not to go ahead and bomb Syria, but since I know he's rewriting Senate rules so that he can hurry up the vote. I would just like to rebuke his actions and point out that it's morally repugnant. We know that his son helped him steal the vote in Nevada. Uh, that's also really despicable. And I'd like to remind him that car yeah, karma's going to come back around. Did he hang up on you? He hung up on me. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, yes, who would I talk to about leaving comments about the Syria vote? I can take that for you. No okay, uh, my name's Melissa Melton. Okay, and your comment? Um, I see that he's currently, at least at the last news article I read, undecided on this issue, and I would just like to point out that it would be morally repugnant for us to bomb a sovereign nation that poses no imminent threat to us whatsoever. Hi, I'm calling to leave comments about the Syria vote. Sure. Uh, this is Hoya's office, right? Yes, sir. But also in terms of anyone supporting a New World Order or Empire regime, I think it's a tactical move and going to cause a lot of blowback. Good morning, Congressman Clyburn, Um, hi, yes. I would like to leave some comments on the Syria vote that's coming up. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I, I see that uh, Representative Clyburn is reserving judgment, and I would just like to add that I think any vote for bombing a sovereign nation that's obviously in turmoil is a terrible idea. It's morally repugnant to the fabric of America. Hi, I'm calling to leave comments about Syria for Congresswoman McMorris. Absolutely. Okay, go ahead. Uh, first of all, I do appreciate that she's taken a poll to get the people's reaction, but I think it should be a clear no vote on Syria. Hi, I'm calling to leave comments about the Syria vote for Congressman Lankford. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, yeah, and I see that, at least at this point, Congressman Lankford is against the Syria resolution, and I wanted to commend him for that. Over 90% of people in this country do not want to strike Syria. Thank you for calling Senator McConnell's Washington, D.C. office. Our office is experienced in a high volume of calls. You cannot leave a comment for Mitch McConnell. He's getting spammed by Tea Partiers who are telling him they're going to vote him out of office. Senator Leahy's office. I have appreciated to a great deal uh, Senator Leahy's uh, aggressive stance against Bush's warmongering. Congressman Amash's office is Lindsay. I would like to commend Representative Amash. I think it's amazing what he's doing. And also, I just want to say that the fact that he retweeted McCain's tweet about Gaddafi, that was brilliant. That was amazing. That gives me hope again for our leadership in this country, which is at this point dismal considering Congress has like a 15% approval rating. Great to hear. I can definitely pass it along to him. Thank you so much for your support. Congressman Grace's office. 
Hi, my name is Aaron Dykes. I'm calling from Texas, and while I'm not from Florida, I wanted to commend Alan Grayson on opposing the Syrian action and opposing intervention in general. And I know Representative Grayson's done a lot of commendable things. I noticed that she's saying that she's opposed and she has laid out a very reasonable list of reasons as to why. And very few of our Congress people seem to be having any kind of common sense on this issue whatsoever. So I was just calling to give my support to her because I, I think she's in a really reasonable position on this. Great, thank you. Are you calling from Minnesota or? I'm actually calling from Texas, but I'm I'm, I'm calling as many representatives as I possibly can on this issue because I think it's just so important. Uh, yeah, I tried to call the Washington office and they were busy, so I'm sure you're getting a lot of comments. Uh, first of all, I am a voter from Austin, Texas. My name's Aaron Dykes. Uh, first of all, I don't appreciate any yes vote on Syria. Hello, this is Senator Diane Feinstein, and you reached my Washington, D.C. office. This phone system will allow you to hold, but it automatically they didn't even set up a message box for Feinstein. Aaron's mad that he didn't get to leave a message for Feinstein. What'd you, what'd you want to say to Feinstein? She has an authoritarian streak and the fact that she doesn't want to hear from Congress is consistent with her view against the people and against the Bill of Rights and we actually don't want to hear from her. No, oh, I was just going to say I don't even think she's human. <laughs> she looks like a bridge troll. Who else? Thank you for calling the Washington office of Senator Rand Paul. Hi, we're calling from Texas just to commend Rand Paul on his firm no against Syria and keeping us out of another war. Uh, I understand. I'm not able to follow all the details, but he voted no on the Senate Select Committee, right? Correct. Congressman Murphy is, com is truly undecided on this issue, and I would just urge him to vote no on this resoundingly. We've seen no valid evidence of why we would need the horrible things that are happening in Egypt, Libya, Afghanistan, Iraq, and all these other and morally repugnant as well that led to that. So I would just urge him to please vote no. I think siding with Al-Qaeda is not only wrong, but a tactical mistake. And so obviously there's really no evidence to support doing this. And so I just hope they realize that being a warmonger is not going to help their careers. This is obviously for a regime change and empire building. To wait over a week and act like it doesn't matter, we can just bomb them at any time, is pretty horrible. And, and it would be the moral thing to do not to bomb a country, especially when the evidence is not clearly in. What are going to do for the safety of the Syrian people? I mean, if it did, they would have called an emergency session. I mean, they could be using chemical weapons every day that we're waiting on this vote. I think you asked for Thank you. Okay, I will share that with you. Thank you so much. Okay, well, thank you for calling us. Uh, be sure to ask no more. All right, well, thank you. Thank you for calling. It's very kind of you, Tick Top Goldlay. Thank you. We will breach the comment line for Senator John McCain. Hi, yes, I would just like to leave this message to say that I saw, Senator McCain, that you're going to pull support for Syria if the strike is too limited because you want an all-out war. And I was going to ask how much the military-industrial complex paid you for your soul and your humanity, but since you're not actually answering because so many people are probably calling to tell you what a scumbag you are, I'm probably going to have to turn in a FOIA request to get that information.